Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas, and you're staring at the side of my metal door. Um, I'm going to zoom out on this, and I want to show you something really quick. I did a video earlier on hard drives and how they could be used to used to make a Tesla turbine. And what I have here is an old-school hard drive. It's a very old drive. It has the gigantic magnets in it. These magnets are really huge, and you can see all the platters. These are, this is not a pure platinum-coated drive. So what I did on one of the other drives is I pulled out the uh, disc set and I just kept it in there and I have a large magnet here so what we're going to be doing is just doing a quick air test on this to show you how this could be used as a possible Tesla turbine part now for you diehard Tesla people out there this is not a completed Tesla turbine I understand that I understand the air is not venting out of the center of this um, but I'm just sticking a magnet on it sticking it to my door and I'm going to be putting some goggles on just to get a test and I'm going to be putting some RPM tape on there to see exactly how fast this alright now because the surface on that is shiny I'm getting a false reading it just said that I was spinning that at 5500 RPMs which um, there's no way that I can do that. I'm going to miss the front of that with a little black spray paint. Well, the compressor's regenerating from that. I, I used it just to uh, dry it, but you can see we have a nice dingy surface, which is what you want. When you do RPM tests on a shiny surface and you attach that tape, getting a reading from the tape and also the discs so it'll give you RPM readings that are way out of sync it's a really strong magnet you don't want to really do this test without a really strong magnet and some eye protection because that could fly off of there so I'm not really too concerned about that but All right, I've got a face shield on just in case something flies apart, and we're going to give this a run. This is that full, like, 125 PSI to start with. So I'm going to start with, with the outer blades to uh, get the torque up, and then I'm going to drop this towards the center to pick the speed up. I noticed the uh, tab started moving around, so I don't want this to fly off of there, because that would be really bad. So we got 13,000 RPMs off of that. One of the neat things about these hard drives is that there is a, a brushless, uh, some are brushless DC motors. They, they are actually, uh, they actually can, they produce a voltage. If I were to hook this tab up right now, if I were to hook this ribbon up, as this spins, there would be voltage being produced somewhere along this. Now, I don't want to do that because if the jump wires that I use happen to get wrapped in this, I could have really bad thing happened just stuff it destroyed this and probably throw an alligator clip at my face so I don't want to really do that but here we go we're gonna try this one more time and see what happens I'm gonna reverse the direction this time I'm gonna take the air down instead of uh, that way let's see if you can Fourteen hundred.
So that only got up to 9,000, that run. So this is probably spinning at about 9,000 real RPMs. Uh, the false readings will give you, make it seem like it's going a lot faster, but I'm gonna give you an idea exactly how fast that outer diameter is, is spinning. By the way, you can see how much tension it put. It actually stripped the paint. <laughs> It actually, for it to, this magnet is very strong. You can see, watch what it does to the door. I, I'm going to try not to get my finger smashed in there. So, that's probably an easy 20, 30 pound pull. So, for it to vibrate that and remove the paint, it makes a neat paint stripper.